everyone, I'm Kate Andrews and here's a look at what is going on this week in the news. We begin with news from around the country. On Monday, the United States Supreme Court ruled 5-4 to four that closely held companies may be exempted from the HHS mandate under the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. The court said that Hobby Lobby and Conestoga Woods, the two family-run companies that objected to the mandate, are protected from the requirement that is part of the Affordable Care Act. The ruling means that for-profit companies may hold protected religious views. However, the court noted that it does not apply to cases challenging the mandate for nonprofit entities that are still pending. The majority opinion said the ruling applies only to the contraceptive mandate. In news from Rome, this weekend 24 bishops received the pallium from Pope Francis. Rome Reports has more on this annual ceremony. Back on his feet after canceling his Friday visit to the Gemelli Hospital for health reasons, Pope Francis presided the Mass on the feasts of Saints Peter and Paul, the patrons of Rome. He was joined by a representative from the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew Metropolitanianis, who the Pope greeted affectionately. The Pope placed a pallium on 24 bishops. It's a woolen band that symbolizes unity and is made from the wool of lambs the Pope blessed on the feast day of St. Agnes. During his homily, Pope Francis talked about St. Peter's captivity and how God freed him from jail and from his fear. He used that episode to talk about the fears that many bishops go through. Ecco il problema per noi della paura e dei refugi pastorali. Noi mi domando, cari fratelli vescovi, abbiamo paura? Di che cosa? Abbiamo paura. E se ne abbiamo, quali rifugi cerchiamo nella nostra vita pastorale per essere al sicuro? The Pope asked bishops about where they place this safety. He said that the true refuge is found within God's trust. Pietro ha sperimentato che la fedeltà di Dio è più grande delle nostre infedeltà è più forte dei nostri rinnegamenti. Si rende conto che la fedeltà del Signore allontana le nostre paure e supera ogni umana immaginazione. Anche a noi, oggi, Gesù rivolge la domanda «Mi ami tu?» E lo fa proprio perché conosce le nostre paure in news from the Vatican, over the weekend, Pope Francis spoke to a group of young men from the Diocese of Rome at the Grotto of Our Lady of Lourdes in the Vatican Gardens. He told them to always stay by their mother, Mary. He warned the young people who are discerning a religious vocation that without Our Lady and without the Church, a Christian is an orphan. He said Christians need these two women. He also said that we should pray to Mary to keep her close when we need help with major life decisions such as vocations. The Pope told the young people that God has a vocation in mind for everyone, but that it is up to each person to find it. And finally in the news, Pope Francis met with the newly crowned King of Spain and his wife, but it was not their first meeting with His Holiness at the Vatican. Rome Reports has more. The first official visit from Spain's newly crowned monarchs to Pope Francis was all smiles and courtesy. King Felipe repeated a saying that the Pope himself had told his father, Juan Carlos, to let him through the door first, saying, the altar boy always goes first. <laughs> the three met privately for close to 40 minutes. The Pope thanked Felipe and Queen Leticia for visiting him just days after ascending to the throne. He also talked to them about the importance of promoting dialogue and collaboration between the church and the state for the good of all Spanish society. After the king introduced his royal entourage, including his doctor and four guards. As a gift, the royal couple gave the pope a copy of a book written by Spanish Jesuit Baltasar Gracian, The Art of Worldly Wisdom. The original version is kept in Argentina. Before saying goodbye, the king noticed that one of the photographers had not received a rosary, so the pope searched for one himself. Once again, the monarchs used that time to invite the Pope to visit Spain.
After the papal audience, King Felipe and Queen Leticia met with the Vatican Secretary of State, Pietro Padolin. The couple had already visited Pope Francis at the Vatican before. On March 19, 2013, they attended his inaugural mass, but as prince and princess of Asturias. Well, that is all the information we have for you at this time. I'm Kate Andrews. Don't forget, you can keep up to date on Catholic News throughout the week with Catholic News Break right here on the Catholic TV Network.